Hey YouTube, John here, and this is the Nerd Report. Like many of you, I have someone near and dear to my heart who suffers from diabetes. This is a condition which afflicts over 25 million Americans and costs the nation upwards of $174 billion annually. On top of this, the number of diabetics in America is booming make this the fastest growing disease in the United States. In order to battle this disease, we must first expand our knowledge of the condition. So here are the basics of diabetes. Diabetes mellitus, or mellitus, just give me a second. Mellitus. Diabetes mellitus, or just diabetes as it's more commonly known, refers to a group of metabolic conditions they cause a person to have abnormally high blood sugar levels. In a normal person, blood sugar levels are controlled by a negative feedback system, which is governed by the pancreas. This is done by using two hormones, insulin and glucagon. Glucagon is a blood sugar raising hormone released by the alpha cells of the pancreas when blood sugar levels get too low, whereas insulin is a blood sugar lowering hormone released by the beta cells of the pancreas when blood sugar levels get too high. The problem usually arises when the body is either unable to secrete or detect the latter of these two hormones. Diabetes comes in three major forms, type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, which was previously known as juvenile onset or insulin dependent diabetes, is a condition in which the pancreas either produces an insufficient amount of insulin or fails to produce the hormone at all. This condition is considered to be a progressive autoimmune disease because the body's own immune system attacks and destroys the insulin producing islet cells of the pancreas. As far as causes for type 1 diabetes go, genetics play a key role in this process. Though the condition is thought to be triggered by exposure to a certain viral infection, the Coxsackie virus to be specific. Type 2 diabetes, which was previously known as adult onset or non-insulin dependent diabetes, is the most common form of diabetes in America, accounting for nearly 90% of all new diagnoses. This condition comes as a result of the body forming an insulin resistance. This prevents cells from being signaled by the insulin which the body produces, thus disabling the cell's ability to properly use the glucose in the bloodstream and causing blood sugar levels to rise. Though this form of diabetes is considered to be highly heritable, its occurrence is primarily caused by many lifestyle choices. Gestational diabetes, on the other hand, is considered to be a much more temporary condition. This occurs when a woman who has no previous history of diabetes, experiences an insulin resistance during pregnancy as a result of hormones released by the placenta. Those symptoms of gestational diabetes tend to go away soon after pregnancy. The condition still poses a very real problem because it more than doubles a mother's risk of contracting type 2 diabetes later in life. There are a few common symptoms that occur across all types of diabetes. Some of these include polyuria, which is increased urination, polydipsia, which is increased thirst, and polyphagia, which is increased hunger. And as for long-term complications, diabetes is plenty. Some of which include diabetic retinopathy, which is a broad term referring to all conditions of the retina that come as a result of diabetes. Diabetic neuropathy, or damage to the nerves. Diabetic nephropathy, which is damage to the kidneys. Foot ulcers. An increased risk of stroke. Foot and leg amputations peripheral artery disease, an increased risk of Alzheimer's, hearing loss, and an increased risk of heart failure, the last of which will kill 7 of 10 diabetics. Though the number of diabetics in America continues to expand at an alarming rate, I take comfort in knowing that through early diagnosis and a healthy lifestyle, the most common form of diabetes in America, type 2 diabetes, can be effectively managed and even prevented and that by continuing to explore new treatments and expand our knowledge of this condition, we can help protect those who we love. That's the Nerd Report. Thanks for watching. Hey wait, before you go, if you've been following the Nerd Report since its infancy, you realize that there are a lot of changes in this video. There's a new intro, there's a new background, new lighting, new text and animation transitions, a new haircut, and even a new subscribe button. Hey, try it out, see if it works. But I wanna hear your feedback. Leave what you think in the comment below, because I want to know what you think of the changes that I've made. 